Hello friends, welcome to .NET programming tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to perform CRUD operation in ASP.NET web application by using store procedure. So in this tutorial we are going to learn first how to perform insert operation uh, by using store procedure. So let's start a tutorial. So you can see here I have developed one bootstrap form and uh, on the click of register button uh, I have to call the store procedure. So uh, in this tutorial we are going to use uh, ADA.NET mechanism here. So let's uh, flip to SQL Server 2014 to view the table uh, structure and table uh, in which we are going to insert the record. So this is a table uh, which is named as a student table in which we are going to insert the record here. So you can see here ID is uh, set as a primary key. So let's see the store procedure uh, which are we are going to call. So this is store procedure to insert the record in student table and which is named as a USB underscore insert uh, record. So you can see here the parameter is exactly match with the name of a column in table. But you have question in your mind why I have not included ID in this uh, SQL uh, st uh, statement. Because uh, in database table I have already set the uh, ID uh, column as a aut uh, auto increment. So you have to set this by ident set the identity specification uh, equal to yes. So by using this when the record is inserted so each time the id is incremented by the one so this is how we can set the tab uh, id column as auto increment so let's flip to visual studio and uh, let's see the uh, this form so this is a uh, form and uh, let's click on the register button and to uh, to create the event so i have already have a code which uh, i have to paste and i will explain what is the use of uh, this code Let's see what happened. Let's build the solution first. Let's see what happened. Okay. So we have to add the connection string in web.config file. So I have already added the connection string in my web.config file and uh, so let's see uh, what is the meaning of this uh, each statement one by one. So this is SQL connection uh, class uh, which is used to uh, make a connection with database. So in uh, this SQL connection class I have uh, added the name of uh, connection string here you can see this. So an SQL uh, command is a uh, class it is also class uh, in which uh, which is used to uh, execute the SQL statement. The SQL connection and SQL command are uh, are the both are the classes of uh, connector architecture. So uh, I have you can see here I have the pass the name of a uh, procedure and uh, uh, object of SQL connection. So you can see here I have mentioned the command type as a store procedure because I, uh, we are going to call the store procedure which uh, I uh, call, uh, call in above um, code you can see uh, above this line this is uh, name of store procedure if we are uh, going to use raw SQL statement instead of uh, name of store procedure so we have to mention the command type as a, a text and to provide the values to the uh, store procedure parameter this parameter so we have to use uh, this uh, code cmd.parameter.add with value in which we have to mention the uh, s, uh, s store procedure parameter and uh, its value so this is name uh, parameter we have to provide the uh, name of student this is department id parameter we have to pass the department id and this is gender we have to pass the gender which we have which are going to select it and this is email id which uh, email parameter which uh, uh, in which we are uh, this uh, provided uh, as a we are going to pass the email id here and this is contact in which we are going to pass the contact uh, to open the connection with database we have to use uh, command uh, connection object dot open and you can see here uh, we have uh, i have used the cm dot cmd dot execute non query uh, this is used when we want to perform uh, insert update and delete operation uh, so to check with, uh, whether the uh, where the uh, this is uh, you can check uh, you can check uh, I, uh, you can see here uh, i have passed uh, I have used uh, integer uh, k equal to this uh, cm dot execute non query. So if record is inserted in table, so it will uh, return some value. Means it means it, it return that how many number of rows are affected. Uh, 
brief record incident in table so it will return value which is greater than 0 so if value is greater than 0 so we are means it means that record are inserted in a table so we that's why we have added uh, that condition and if record is inserted then we are going to pass this message to the label and we uh, we are also after inserting the record uh, we are also going to change the uh, color of a uh, label so uh, if this operation is completed so we have to close the database connection so this is uh, how we can perform the operation let's build this solution build successfully and then start without debugging now provide the value let's see what happened this again start without debugging and provide the value again now register you can see here record is successfully inserted in database let's check the database table here let's execute this you can see here the record is inserted successfully so this is how we can perform insert operation uh, by using store behavior so thanks for watching my tutorial uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you